Hello everyone, welcome to another Dune 2000 mission making tutorial and today what I want to talk about is the new and improved way of making missions for this game. Now the old way, if you remember, the, the old way of making missions was you opened up Shia Lud, made a terrain inside it and once you are done you would open the campaign map editor for, from Clovkak to add the buildings and yeah, pretty much the buildings. And once you're done with that too, you would be opening up the mission editor from MVI to make the triggers and all the scripting. Now you can forget about that because everything is included in the same program from now on, which is Clovkak's updated mission editor, pretty much. So what this thing and this thing also adds some f new events which are pretty kick-ass if you ask me they are great you can use them um, to to achieve real nice stuff I, I did use them in my uh, sandstorm expansion missions which will be released soon and it also adds INI support and I'm gonna talk about these real fast uh, in a minute here because you're probably a little bit confused right now I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to clarify them. So first thing you wanna do is go ahead to Fed2K, which is farm.dune2k.com. Go ahead to the Dune 2000 section, and not this one. This uh, this is uh, not the you know the most recent version. This is the most recent version. Dune 2000 Map and Mission Editor version 1.0. So you would be downloading this one. I checked these two before making the video to see what they are. They're not updated, so don't don't get them. Even if it's the newest topic, you know, in the in the list. So go ahead, click this. And you're gonna have it right there on the on the bottom. And here it is. Unzipped and all this shit. You go ahead and open it and there you go. It looks like the same old editor, doesn't it? It's actually not. Let's go ahead and check this. But first, we gotta open up a map. Let's open up a map. Sandstorm, Atreides Mission 2, let's do it. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Alright. Mission settings, it already looks great. You got a briefing thing here. You got string IDs. Those are strings that you can, you know, show up in text messages inside the game. You no longer have to edit text.uib in order to to have custom messages in your missions. And you get a full fucking AI editor here. You can edit pretty much everything you want for each side, you know. So let's see. This is uh this is the, these are the smugglers. What you normally would want to play with, by the way, is the first attack building delay, which is uh, how many game ticks the AI will wait before he makes the initial attack. And then this is the amount of game ticks the AI will wait between the attacks, you know. And there's another useful one, which is unit build rate. I can find it right now. This is wasting time. Unit build rate. This one is really important. It pretty much controls how fast the AI is building units. The lower you set it, the higher, I mean, the bigger speed there they will get. They will produce more units if this is lower. But anyway, this is not a point. We're not talking about that right now. We're talking about this thing here, right here. Use INI file for additional mission settings. So this is INI support. This thing right here, which is a few uh, things from vars.bin you can change def and acc accuracy and all this kind of stuff the amount of fremens that come out of uh, the palace uh, right here i also i changed it in this mission there are four and they they really do come out four from the palace if you change that and um yeah this is the ini support everything that you see right here is related to INI files. Now what is this thing about? If we go ahead to um give me a second. Jesus Christ. I have a lot of shit on my desktop as you can probably see. Alright, if we we go ahead to here we see that we have 
the old map and miss files for the mission and we also have an I and I file you know we see this here it's pretty much everything we got in the editor you know pretty cool isn't it so how would you play this mission right now because this is actually the reason I'm making this tutorial I've been people asking me how the hell do they use this new new editor because it's a little bit different so I'm gonna explain it right now if you put these in your game folder right now with without getting the mission launcher or the updated patched exe from funky fresh then you will just simply you know replace I mean you will actually not be able to play it at all because it doesn't have an original mission name that it can replace this is a custom name here you see ss underscore a2 that you you don't find that in the, in the original game so you need something to run this you know and if you know what the mission launcher is then you already you can skip what I'm gonna do right now because it you know you know what's going on if you have the mission launcher and the updated patch DXC you can simply put these in your game folder and that's all I mean not a game folder but the mission folder and that's all you have to do to run them you just open up the mission launcher once you've done that and select them the mission and just start it but if you don't know what those are and you know you, you don't have them let's go ahead and fix that for you you go ahead to the same Dune 2000 forum and go over oh let's see this one Dune, this this topic right here and you get everything you really want from here what is really important to get is this latest version of Dune 2000.exe and in your case the mission launcher because you want to play the missions this is this is it you need to get this thing. Arolaza dot I and I not really important so far because it's not completed. There are just a few a few entries there like you've seen in the editor. But to play the missions you need this and this. So let's go ahead and open up I, I already have them for obvious reasons, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up my my folder here and we can see mission launcher dot exe open it now you see here war of assassins which are my uh, which is my campaign rise of the mercenaries grand lords grand lords campaign and here the rest of the missions so that was I don't remember if I placed it in my missions folder right let's check out because if I didn't it's not gonna show up here obviously or right, I already have it there so this is uh, this is the mission, a trace mission two that I open up in the editor right here. And what you have to do to play, you just open up the missions folder, and you make sure it is in there. Give me a second. All right, this is it. You see it, ssa two dot miss, and the i and i file should be here too. If you wait for a second, I'll find it. Uh. All right, there it is. SSA2.ini. You see, it's the same thing except that it, uh, it doesn't have the briefing since I didn't up update it in the game. I, I usually use uh, I usually use the quick test function from uh, from this program. See here, test quick launch. You don't have to do anything else if you want to play it. Actually, yeah, this is this is even easier method. But you still ha need to have the updated EXE from Funky Fresh to play it. If you don't want to use the mission launcher, you can simply open up the uh, the editor and use this this test function here. But that's fucked up. You you better just get the mission launcher. So we're already nine minutes in this video. I feel like I'm talking a lot of stuff. i and you know I'm prolonging it, but trying to explain it as as well as I, as well as I can. So we get all the missions in this program. There's, this, uh, these are just gonna simply launch the game for you. I'm gonna show it right now. You see, go ahead. There's no briefing. We start. It's gonna launch the fucking game for us with the the mission we selected. This the uh, the mission we selected right here. You see. All right, that's good. 
Next fucking mission. This is a Trades mission two from Sandstorm expansion, which will release be released very soon. I'm gonna play it right now. So let's sum it up. How do you play missions coming from this new editor? I'm gonna show you in between uh, the new event and condition thing. The new events are these. Uh, play sound, set build rate, set attack building rate, set cash, set tech, and play music. These are really, really useful. And I'm not sure if I mentioned leave. Leave is leave is like when your base explodes. I, everything you own explodes. That's what leave does. Because it's a little bit confusing. Alright, so once again to sum it up, how do you play these missions? First of all, just make sure you are making them with this new editor. Ju just don't use the old ones anymore. It's it's pointless. It's it's really pointless. And then make sure you have the mission launcher and the updated patched exe from funky fresh installed in your game folder once you've done that you need to place in the missions folder a map file a miss file and an ini file if you decided to use ini support how do you decide that you go ahead in the mission settings and you either check or uncheck this you see i don't want to delete it but it Jesus Christ it, it did it all right all right that's good you see this is how we do it that uh, yeah I do recommend to use INI files I really do recommend that because it's just fucking sim simple and very user friendly and you are not overriding text.uib so that's pretty much pretty much everything that we can really talk about right now this is how you play the, the wishes. Maybe I'm gonna do some tutorials about how to use the program, this program I mean. But it's a little bit obvious I guess, if you look around. Alright, 12 minutes, I guess it's enough for now. So thank you guys for watching, I really hope this, uh, this tutorial helped you, especially those guys who've been asking me how to play the missions, I really hope uh, this tutorial helped you. And if you do have more questions, don't hesitate to to message me anywhere literally anywhere so yeah see ya